What's up awesome YouTubers, Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys and this is going to be my results to my Q&A video I posted about a month ago. I know this is a delayed, delayed video. Um, but these are going to be, uh, or this video is going to be me answering your guys' questions and I want to first thank you all um, who love questions either on Facebook or YouTube. Thank you guys so much for the questions. Um, you know, I'm going to have a lot of fun answering these. I haven't done a Q&A in quite a long time, so um, it's going to be cool to do it again. And I got some really cool questions, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I'm going to give you the best answers that I possibly can, but I'm also going to try not to make this video too, too long for you guys. Um, so once again, thank you all who left questions. I really appreciate it. Um, hope you guys enjoy my answers to your questions, and uh, thank you so much once again for the seven years of support, um, you guys watching my videos, um, it just really means a lot to me. I don't know if I'd still be making videos seven years later um, without your guys' support, so I really appreciate it, and I have a lot of fun making videos. And I have another video coming up that I'm going to re either record after this video or tomorrow um, showing you my new collection setup, movie collection setup. So I worked on that a couple days ago. So I'm going to get started. Uh, the first two uh, questions or the, fir the, the first questions are going to come from Facebook because I either gave you the option to post something on YouTube or Facebook. And Little Rocker 2005 here on YouTube. Um, Andre, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right, I'm really bad at it, um, but Andre, you left some questions, and the first question was, what are some of your favorite slasher films? Um, you know, slashers for me, I'm a big fan of slashers, I love them, and I'm going to leave out, you know, Halloween and Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th, because those are always going to be some of my favorites. But outside of those, um, just to name some, uh, I love the original Prom Night, um, My Bloody Valentine, Terror Train. Um, so the, some of those were some of the first slashers that I ever watched and got me into horror movies. You know, Scream, you know, that's kind of mainstream, but I'll name that. I know what you did last summer. Curtains, uh, Slumber Party Massacre, which I'm wearing with a t-shirt. Um, so there's a lot of them I love. I'd have to like make like a list and really think about it. The Prowler being one. Um, I'm a big slasher fan, so I have a lot of them in my collection. Suspiria, it's a giallo slasher in my opinion. I, I consider it to be a slasher film. Um, I love that movie. So there's a lot of them, but those are just to name some that I love. So uh, the next question is, what are some of your favorite people that you've gotten to meet at conventions? Um, I've been doing conventions since 2008. The first one I did was the Halloween convention and um, the Halloween 30 Years of Terror convention in uh, California, Pasadena. And that was just an amazing show. So for me, meeting a lot of the stars from the Halloween series, I love that. Uh, you know, speaking Halloween, meeting Jamie Lee Curtis, just amazing. Uh, that was probably my favorite experience, uh, just meeting her because, you know, I never thought she would ever do a horror movie convention. So that was fun. That was 2012. I love that. Um, John Carpenter, another great person. Love meeting him. Um, the late uh, Angus Grimm, who recently passed away. I met him Days of the Dead um, in Indianapolis uh, this past 2015 uh, in June. And that is something I'm never going to forget. Uh, such a sweet and kind man. And it just, it was really sad when I saw that he had passed away. And I'm glad I got the opportunity to meet him before he passed away. So that was awesome. Um, trying to think of some other people. I've been to a lot of them. Um, uh, Lance Henderson, great guy to meet. I had a lot of fun meeting him. Met some of the True Blood cast members. That was awesome. Uh, just a lot. Uh, Elvira, another one. So there's a lot of great people that I've got to meet at conventions. Um, I've never really had too many negative experiences. Um, Sybil Danning and Tom, Sa Tom Savini, not some of my favorite people I got to meet. Uh, I'm a fan of their work, but as a people, I just I, those are some people I wasn't a fan of. But 
for most part, a lot of the experiences at these conventions, I've met a lot of great people. Tom Atkins, I love Tom Atkins, I thought he was great. So, just a lot of them, but those are just to name um, some that I really enjoyed meeting, so, and some of my favorite people at conventions. Um, let's see, next question from him was, um, is there any favorite action films or actors or both that you like? Um, I'm a big action fan. I would say it's my fourth favorite type of cinema. Um, after horror movies, I love chick flicks and I love sci-fi films. But action movies I do love. Um, I'd say, you know, the Terminator series. I'm a big fan of the Terminator films. Terminator 2 is more of a um, action movie compared to the first one where I feel that's more, you know, more going into the lines of a horror film. But still, I'd say there's some action in it. Um, what else? What else do I, you know, it's, I had to, re I should have really thought about this before I made the video. Um, like I said, The Terminators, Commando, another great action movie, Predator, um, so many of them, uh, Die Hard, that's a good one. Um, you know, action films, you know, they're kind of 50-50 with me, some I like, some I don't like. Um, but I'm pretty sure if I go look at my collection, there will probably be a lot more that I can name off, but those are just some to name off. I'm a big, big Terminator fan. Robocop's another one I love. So those are some good ones. Um, those are some of my favorite ones. Uh, actors, obviously Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Um, let's try to think of some recent action heroes that I really enjoy. Um, I, I would say Matt Damon. Uh, I like the Bourne series, the, the Matt Damon Bourne series, not the Jeremy Renner one. Those are some of my other favorite action movies. I love those. So Matt Damon, I consider him to be an action star. I think those are just awesome films, his Bourne movies. I can't wait for his return as Jason Bourne, so that's going to be awesome. Um, another question he had was, let's see... Um, Talking about some of my favorite artists because you know I recently went to Madonna, which was amazing, and so you know, he wanted to know some of my other favorite artists. Um, you know, I, for music, with me and music, I like pretty much anything. Country is my least favorite, uh, but to name off some, Rob Zombie's a favorite of mine. I love his music. Um, I like Lady Gaga. Actually, I love Lady Gaga. I know some people don't like her, but I love her. Um, especially her first two albums. Those are her best ones. I love those. Uh, I can listen to those over and over and still love them. Um, Fall Out Boy. I still like Fall Out Boy. Uh, who are some other? Blondie. I'm a big Blondie fan. I'm a big fan of Brian Adams. Um, I still like the Spice Girls. So, I, you know, I have a lot of favorite artists that I really enjoy. Uh, but again, those are just to name off a few, uh, but if I really sit down and think about it, there's so many others I love. Um, and it's just, it's all, it's all different decades, you know, I love modern stuff, and I love, you know, the 90s, and the 80s, and the 70s. Um, those are, you know, my favorite decades of music, so for me, those are just some that I can name off that I love. But yeah, uh, Rob Zombie, uh, Lady Gaga, Madonna. Spice Girls. I still like some of Britney Spears' stuff. Her other stuff, her older stuff, is better. Um, I like some Marilyn, Mans Marilyn Manson's music. Um, so there's a lot. Uh, but yeah, those are just to name some. So thank you, Andre, for the questions. I really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, now going on to another friend of mine, um, great supporter. Um, uh, for my videos for a long time, like a lot of you guys. But he's just. He's awesome. He's been supporting him for a long time. Um, uh, Pat, uh, my buddy Pat, if you're watching this, you rock, bud. Um, he left two questions. The first one was, what is your favorite non-horror foreign movie? Um, and I, I really had to think about that uh, because there's not a lot of non-foreign horror movies that I've seen. Um, but to, to think of two of them at the moment, um, I like the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. The sequel is not so much. The, first, the second movie, I think it's Girl Who Played With Fire. That one was good. I like that one. Not as good as the first one. And then I really could not finish the third movie. I found that to be kind of boring. 
but I love the original girl with the dragon tattoo. Um, just it's one of my favorite movies and uh, just awesome, awesome movie. I loved it. Um, and then I would say a gay themed um, German film would be Free Fall. That was a recent one I saw and I love that movie. I've seen it two or three times already and for me that was just awesome. So those are some of my favorite non um, foreign, some of my favorite non foreign uh, movies that I love are, are that are my favorites. Tongue twister there. The, the. Um, so and then his last question was, Who's your biggest female crush? Um, someone known, of course. I have to pick somebody known. Um, I would say I've always, I've, I've always found Amber Heard to be beautiful. Um, uh, but my favorite one, and kind of she's my favorite actress right now, and I think she's beautiful, is uh, Jessica Chastain. Um, I love her. She's awesome. Jennifer Lawrence, I love as well. Um, but I'm gonna say Jessica Chastain. I know some people might disagree, but I love her as an actress, and I think she's a beautiful woman. So I'm gonna say her right now, but it could change in the future. So, but uh, thank you, Pat, for the questions, buddy. I really appreciate it. Uh, hope you're doing well. So, but yeah. Uh, now going on to the questions that are on uh, YouTube. And I got some really good questions, so uh, let's see. First question comes from my buddy Jay, Absolute Sublime One. Uh, how you doing, buddy? Um, let's see. His first question is, what are what is one goal you have for 2016? And I really talked about my goals um, or some of my goals in uh, the last video. One of them was uh, making uh, more YouTube videos, uh, more, more often than I did last year in 2015. Uh, that I want to try to do every week. I know last week I didn't make a video. Uh, got started back at school and everything, so that took up a lot of my time. But making more videos, that's one. Um, but the biggest one for me is to eat healthier which I eat pretty healthy, but eat healthier and work out more because I want to kind of bulk up my body. I add more muscle, so that's probably my biggest one. Um, but, you know, also to live a, a happy life. So, I mean, there's, that's answering more than one goal. But uh, I'd say, you know, out of the three, I'm going to say, you know, try to make videos more often. You know, I eat pretty healthy. I work out. Uh, I try to work out every week. Um, but I'm gonna say try to make more videos uh, because last year I felt like I was making videos and then I'd stop, and then I'd make them again. So that is going to be something I'm gonna do uh, more often this year uh, because, I, like I said, as of right now, 2018 um, will be the end of my cha uh, end of me making videos, keeping my channel. Yes. But 2018, at the moment, um, unless it changes in the future, is going to be when I stop making videos. Um, and so I want to make a video, or try to make a video every week throughout the years. And that way, those videos are up for you guys when I do leave. Um, and you can go back and watch them. And if I ever want to watch them, go back and watch them. And these are kind of uh, awesome videos to watch. So uh, for me, you know, through the years when I go back and look at them, I'm going to see what's changed. Uh, either my videos or how I've changed. So that'd be awesome. Um, let's see. And then his other question, I, I know I'm rambling. I'm so sorry about that, guys. But his other question is, what's one horror movie you'd like to see be, be remade? Um, and I, and I thought about this question, and honestly, there's not a horror movie that I'd like to see be remade right now. Um, if I had to pick something that needs like a re-remake, like a movie that was a remake that's just kind of terrible and they should, if they were to ever remake it again, I would hope that they would improve on it. Um, the latest one would be Poltergeist. I was not a fan of the new Poltergeist. I thought it started off okay, and then it just re really bad. And they went really fast with this movie. They kind of jumbled everything together, where the first one's kind of lengthy, and, you know, it develops. I felt like the remake just kind of threw everything together, and they didn't really try too much. So, 
If they were to want to re remake a movie, I'd say that one would be a good one. Um, but as for a movie that's never been remade before, I, you know, I'd have to really sit down and think about that. So, but thank you, Jay, for the questions. I appreciate it, bud, and I hope you enjoyed my answers. Um, the next question goes from Dead by Dawn 93. How you doing, bud? Um, he, let's see. You didn't have any questions, but thank you so much for commenting. I appreciate it. So I'm going down these questions and I'm or these comments and just kind of looking at them. All right. So the next question comes from, and I might pronounce this wrong, and I'm sorry. Uh, is it and Andronis or Andros? Andros. Hopefully, I'm I, again bad with pronouncing names. It's A N D R O S. Uh, but thank you for the question. His question is, is there a film that you don't like that everybody freaks out about? In other words, is there a movie that you don't like that most people do like and are often and are often surprised you hate? And yes, there are movies I don't like. Um, I do like pretty much anything that I've seen, but there, you know, as of lately, there's been horror movies that I don't like. Um, to name one, uh, or to name a horror movie, or just a movie in general, to name one, I would say, I like the question again. Um, I'd say a film that everybody seems to love that I really don't care for. And there might be people who don't like it. Um, I didn't like, I think it was a 2012 or 2013 film called The Loved Ones. Um, it got delayed here in the US for a DVD and Blu-ray release until I think 2012 or 2013. But I remember seeing that movie for the first time, hoping that it was going to be a great film. Um, and everybody has their opinions on movies, and I respect that. But when I saw the movie, I just, I did not hate it. I will, no, I hated the movie. Did not hate it. I hated the movie. Um, but another one, another one that I just could not stand was the recent film, The Baba Duke. I, I, I'm gonna pick that one over the loved ones. The loved ones had some substance in that movie that I actually enjoyed, even though I didn't really care for the film. But I'm gonna say The Baba Duke. That's going to be my answer. I really hated that movie. Um, that was a film I was completely disappointed in. And going into the movie, I heard so many good things about this movie that a lot of people loved it. And I sat down with a friend and we both just hated this film. And again, I respect people who love movies and if you love that movie, I respect you, but I could not get into it. It did not creep me out. There, I think there was one moment where I was a little bit creeped out, but it kind of went away quick. Um, just a terrible film in my opinion. Uh, again, a lot of people love it and if you love it, I respect that, but I just, could not stand the Baba Duke, so I'm gonna say the Baba Duke. But the loved ones overrated too. I, I didn't care for any of them, but I'm gonna say the Baba Duke. That's a recent one that I watched uh, last year that I, I just, I could not get into. Uh, but thank you for the question. I really appreciate it. Um, the next question comes from, let's see, my buddy uh, Ross. Hi, bud. Um, he left some questions. What are your top five gay theme movies? Um, oh, his first question, and then I'll answer that one, was what is your favorite thing about the movie community on YouTube? Which is really awesome. I love that question. Um, I, I love the fact that I can come on YouTube um, and get to meet people who have the same interests that I do, which is movies. I started in 2007, 2006 or 2007, started watching people's, you know, movie collections and updates and I was just in awe of them and I thought, man, this is awesome watching people who love the same thing I love, which is movies and DVDs and Blu-rays. I mean, that was just fantastic. And for the longest time, I wanted to make the videos and I tried for years could not do it, did not have the proper camera. And so I finally got my first camera and I made my first video in 2008 and that was just awesome. And so for me, coming on YouTube and knowing people love movies and knowing that they love horror movies, um, it's just awesome because I'm a big fan of film and I love film. So I get to not only talk with people about movies here on YouTube, but I've also created a lot of 
amazing friendships. Uh, I've met people outside of YouTube that I'm now best friends with, and I've met a lot of great friends from YouTube that I talk to, and it's just amazing to still stay in contact with a lot of them and see what they're doing now. So for me, you know, coming on YouTube and seeing people that love movies is awesome, and then creating friendships. So. Those, you know, uh, that might be one or two answers, but, you know, those are my favorite things about the movie community. So, having to know people who have the same interests that you do and that you get to create friendships with them. Um, the next question he had was, um, what are your top five favorite gay themed movies? Um, and I made this list a while ago, so hopefully I remember the list. Um, but it always will change. I think it's going to change in the future. Um, I'm going to say my number one is The Normal Heart. I love The Normal Heart. It's it's a really sad movie, but I love that film, and so I can go and watch it over and over and still love it. Uh, Free Fall, which I mentioned, a German uh, gay theme movie. I've seen that recently, and I've, I've watched it a few, at least two or three times now, and I love that movie. Um, Brokeback Mountain, uh, for me, I love it. I think it's not only... A, awesome gay theme movie. It's just an awesome movie in general. Um, Trick, which came out in 1999. If you haven't seen that movie, that is just, uh, again, an awesome movie that I love. And then I was thinking about this for a while because I've seen some recently good movies um, that I love. Um, you know, Shelter being one, Latter Days is another good one. But I'm going to say my number five is a movie called Burning Blue, and I've seen that movie three or four times, and I love that film. So if you haven't seen any of those, write those down, go check them out if you're interested, uh, because those are, you know, that's my top five. Normal Heart, Free Fall, Broke Back, Trick, and Burning Blue. But there's a lot of other great ones out there. So thank you, Ross, for the questions, but I really appreciate it. Uh, the next question comes from The Omen. Uh, he said, Merry Christmas, pal. Thank you. Hope you had a great Christmas. Uh, he says, how many DVDs and Blu-rays have you got? Um, which, for me, it's always been one of those things where I started off with a huge collection. I still have a big collection, but I had an even bigger collection. I have four shelves full of movies. I have three now, but a lot of it is now open space. Um, but I start off with a lot of them, and I still have a lot. So over the years, movies have come in, movies have come out. I'd say right now I probably have around a thousand movies, which is still pretty big. But I think yeah, I had even more years ago. But right now it's a thousand movies. So Blu-rays and DVDs combined. Um, next question is, who is your favorite British actor? That question I got a really think about. Um, and don't hate me if I butcher this, because I'm terrible at it sometimes. I'm going to say right now, it's really tough. Um, let's see, Daniel Craig. I'm going to go with Daniel Craig. I think he's a fantastic Bond, so for me, I'm going to go with Daniel Craig. I He's Besides Sean Connery, an awesome Bond. I love Daniel Craig. Awesome. Um, so thank you so much, bud, for that. I really had to think about that one, but yeah, I'd say Daniel Craig. Um, the next one comes from Hidden in a Book. Uh, awesome hearing from you. Um, she wrote, let's see, um, how many of your YouTube friends have you met in real life? Um, and I've met some, you know, great, you know, some great friends that, you know, I started talking to on YouTube um, that I've met at conventions, um, Beyond the Realms, Horrors Ball, um, you know, Colin Cassidy who left a question, I met him. I've met a lot of great friends, but I've created some, you know, best friends. Um, Resident uh, Vania, uh, who I've not met in person. But he has been um, one of my best friends for a long time. When I started making videos, he was one of the first people I ever talked to. 
And throughout the years, we've, you know, communicated through different websites, and we text, or we call now, and we've been doing that for years. But, you know, even though I haven't met him in person, he is one of my dear friends, one of my best friends. I love your brother. You're awesome. Um, my, my buddy Brian, which, uh, my buddy uh, Brian, I have two best friends named Brian, uh, but my buddy Brian, um, from Chicago, Brian and Christy, uh, they are two, I consider to be two of my best friends, um, I love those guys, um, met them at a convention, and I've just been friends with them throughout the years, um, I love them, so I love you guys, um, and then I'd say my, uh, my buddy, uh, Douglas Connor, Doug Lander here, um, on YouTube, and my buddy Brian Doran, um, I met them, I, I started talking to Doug on YouTube, uh, watched his videos, when I started making videos, I watched his videos, and I watched the videos that Brian were a part of, the short films that they've made, um, and in 2010 or 2011, I met them at my, my second convention, which was a Scarefest show. And then I eventually moved here, and they've become some of my best friends. I'm grateful to have them in my life. When I moved back here to Kentucky, a lot of my friends that I made in high school were gone. And they were two of the first people that I created a friendship here, um, back here again in Kentucky and I just love them so and through them I've met some other great friends and so th you know there's some of my other friends that I met through YouTube uh, like I said Brian you know he's made short films and he's been a part of Doug's videos and I knew him from that and Doug had his channel and you know I you know I've just become best friends with both of them and you know they don't live that far away from me I see him a lot so for me I love you guys as well. So, but yeah, if that hopefully that's a, a an awesome question for you or awesome answer. Um, but yeah, so the next one is any special plans for your channel in 2016? Like I said, my some of the things I want to do uh, a video every week. Try to do one every week um, leading up to 2018. That's something I want to do. Uh, and, you know, hopefully I can stick to that. Um, still make movie-related videos, horror-related videos, but also I want to talk about, you know, my fitness, um, my health, um, the healthy things I'm eating. Uh, that's a big thing in 2016 for me is to, uh, get, you know, bulk up a little bit more, add a little bit more muscle, eat healthier. And, and I want to share that with you guys and soon I'm going to make my first video kind of like my journey video on where I am right now and hopefully where I'm going to be in the future so that's something um, to look forward to and then other related videos I want to start doing so there's a lot that I want to do in 2016 and do it until 2018 but some of the, those are some of the things I want to start doing in 2016 so but thank you so much for the questions, my friend. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you. Um, Colin Cassidy, let's see. What are your strangest or fondest memories from a horror convention you attended? Um, I'd say I'm going to say fondest. Because fondest is more... I, I really haven't had any strange experiences. Um, I'd say the fondest, I'm going to just say meeting Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, that and then meeting uh, friends at conventions. Uh, for me, I love going to conventions. It's great meeting the celebrities, but to see my friends again or meet them for the first time and hang out with them, that's always been something that's been a favorite, a favorite of mine, going to these shows for so long. I love that. Um, and there's so many great memories uh, just hanging out with my friends. Uh, and meeting friends for the first time. Uh, people that I've watched on YouTube, meeting them for the first time has been just been awesome. So I love that. Um, and then Colin's other question is, what are goals that you'd like to accomplish in the next few years? I mentioned it, you know, eating healthier. I eat healthy now, but eating even healthier. Uh, bulking up uh, and then making videos within the next um, you know, two years, because um, I want to do a video every week if I can. 
And then also in the next couple years, I want to be done with my bachelor's degree. So that's another thing. I'd love to do that. So uh, working on that right now. Uh, but thank you, Colin, for the comments. I really appreciate it, buddy. Um, or the questions, not comments. But thank you for the comment anyway. Um, and then let's see. I got three more people that, uh, that ask questions. And then let's see. So um, I think it's uh, Dry Grave 11. Hopefully I'm saying that right. That right. Um, who is the one celebrity you haven't met that you'd like to meet the most? Um, who's the... I'd say I've met a lot of great ones. Um, I wanted to meet Wes, but he passed away, so that's not going to happen. Uh, Nev Campbell, I know she's doing shows. I'd love to meet Toby Hooper, though. That would be awesome. I would love to meet him. I've met Romero. I've met John Carpenter. I wanted to meet Wes. I'd love to meet Toby Hooper before he passes away, which I hope it's not anytime soon. We've already had a lot of celebrity losses. That's just really sad. Even this year alone. Uh, and it's not even, you know, the middle of 2016. It just started. But I'd say Toby Hooper and Nev Campbell, I'd love to meet them. So... Uh, and then his other question is, what movies are you looking forward to the most in 2016? Uh, Batman vs. Superman, cannot wait for that. I'm looking forward to that one a lot. Suicide Squad, uh, cannot wait to see that. Um, X-Men um, Apocalypse, I love Days of Future Past. I saw it twice on the same weekend it came out. I love that movie. So that, uh, Captain America Civil War... The Conjuring 2, I cannot wait for that. I really enjoyed the trailer that I saw for the second movie, so I'm hoping it's not terrible. Um, but yeah, those are just some to name a few, or to name some that I can't wait for. So uh, just looking forward to those a lot. Um, and thank you so much for the questions, I really appreciate it. Um, the next question comes from the Crow 568 which I do remember you from YouTube. Uh, good to hear from you again. Um, his questions were, let's see, what is your favorite band or artist to listen to? Um, that's his first question. I uh, named some. Uh, Madonna, I love her. I saw her this past, or last weekend, which was amazing. Um, uh, Rob Zombie, I love Rob Zombie. Calvin Harris, um, those are some. Blondie, uh, just to name some, I love them. Um, if I'm working out, I usually like to listen to a mix of everything, and those are some of the artists that I love listening to. So that's always awesome. Um, and then the last question is, what has been your favorite movie of the year, 2015? Um, so... There's some movies I haven't seen. I haven't seen Star Wars yet. I'm probably just going to wait till it hits on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, the Revenant, I want to see that. Legend with Tom Hardy, I want to see that one. Uh, Spectre, which is coming out soon. But I'd say my favorite one right now, and one that really surprised me, because this movie was at least pushed back once, was Mad Max. That is my favorite one. Mad Max Fury Road. I love that movie. I've seen it a few times, and I still love that movie. Just awesome. Love that. So I'd say that's my favorite movie right now, but once I see the ones that I just named off, it might change, so you never know. But I love that movie. And uh, check out a movie called um, Southpaw if you haven't seen that one. That was one of my favorite movies of last year. Just amazing in my opinion. Um, but thank you so much for the questions, and it's good hearing from you again. I know you used to make videos, um, and it was always awesome seeing your videos, so... But yes, and thank you for the comments. I really appreciate it a lot. Um, and then the last person was Blu-ray Evan. How you doing, Evan? Um, and his question was, what are your top five movies that you... That... What are your top five movies you'd like to live with for the rest of your life? What would they be and why? Which I should have thought about this uh, before I made the video. Uh, let me think. Uh, my five movies. Um, Halloween, John Carpenter's. That's just the first horror film I ever saw. It's one of the first movies I fell in love with. Um, that really got me into horror movies and movies in general. 
Um, some kind of uh, wonderful, uh, underrated John Hughes movie. I love that film. I can watch that movie so many times. Uh, I love that. Uh, let me think of this. I would say... The Dark Knight. I love The Dark Knight. Uh, I always go back and forth between The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises, but I think The, the Dark Knight's my favorite one. It's my favorite Batman movie, and Nolan brought that series back to life with Batman Begins, and I thought The Dark Knight was even better. So that I'd say that would be a third one. Um, I gotta really think about that. That's a good, you know, good question. Um, I made like a top ten favorite movies uh, years ago, but it's changed since then. Oh, uh, I would say if I had to pick another horror movie, uh, Fright Night, the original. That's one that I couldn't live without. I love that movie. Um, just a movie that scared me as a kid, but I just, I, I love that movie, and I was attracted to that movie, watching it, even scared as a kid. There was something about it that I loved, and I still love today. Um, and then, I'm gonna go with The Christmas Story. It might change, but if I had to pick, like, a Christmas movie to watch, if there was one movie where I'm like, okay, I need to watch a feel-good movie besides Some Kind of Wonderful, it'd be A Christmas Story. I love that movie. I want to get a, uh, a bunny outfit, like, uh, like Ralph, Ralphie wears in the movie, and hopefully I, it's Ralphie, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Ralphie, that's his name, if not, I'm really bad, um, at naming characters' names in movies, but I would love to get that pink bunny outfit, that would be amazing, yes, I would love it, I have the lamp, I need that pink bunny outfit, but yeah, I would say, Halloween, the original, um, Some Kind of Wonderful, Dark Knight, um, Fright Night, and the, the original Fright Night, and then um, uh, Christmas Story. Those are five movies as of right now that probably won't change, but I, if I had to watch just five movies and have those for the rest of my life, those would be the movies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it went a little longer than I was hoping for, but I enjoyed answering your guys' questions. Apologize in advance if I didn't give the best answers or if I pronounced your name wrong. I'm really bad with that sometimes. But I do appreciate the questions, guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, everybody who left questions on Facebook and YouTube, I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed my answers. And once again, Thank you for the support for the seven years I've been on YouTube. I really appreciate it, guys. And look out for more videos to come in 2016 and the future beyond 2016. Uh, like I said, I plan to end my channel in 2018. But before that, I'm going to try to make a video every week. That way, I can go back and look at these videos. And once I'm gone, I'm going to keep these videos on YouTube. And you guys can watch them if you want and kind of look back on those, too. So, but anyway, guys, hope you're all doing well. As always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. I have another video coming soon. Two videos this week since I missed last week. And so stay tuned for that video where I will show you my new rearrangement when it comes to my movie collection. So, hope you guys are all doing well. As always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. In with the positive, out with the negative. And go eat some Skittles, guys. All right. Bye.